Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this is going to be the final entry in my Back to School Horror Review Series. Um, just wanted to throw that little quick series out there for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This last film I'm going to review is The House on Sorority Row. And this is a 92-minute film um, directed by Ro uh, Mark Roseman Rossman. And this is, I believe, a late 80s slasher. So there you have it, House on Sorority Row. So let's get into the basic plot. The basic plot of this movie is you have um, a group of sorority girls, they're graduating college, and they want to throw a party in their sorority house. But their, their sorority house mother, Mrs. Slater, wants everybody out of there by June 19th, and um, the girls are kind of like annoyed about it, so they decide they're gonna play a prank on her. But it's not like any normal prank. This is like a prank that that basically goes too far. They decide they're gonna pull a gun on her <laughs> and um, basically say, oh, you're gonna let us have these graduation parties or else type of a thing. So they pull the gun on her and um, she kind of doesn't back down so the one girl starts firing and the other girls thought that the gun was going to be unloaded but the the main girl um she had it loaded so one girl like she pretends like she shoots one girl and it ends up being fake blood for her but um so basically um they shove mrs slater into the pool and then they believe that they they actually kill her on accident so they then try to uh, decide what they're going to do. The one, one girl wants to call the police in an ambulance, and the main girl that, that had the gun and all that, she, of course, doesn't want them to do anything. She wants them to just throw the body in the pool <laughs> because she doesn't want to be arrested and all this stuff. Um, so they go through with the party, and basically what happens, as you might imagine, is that the girls start getting picked off one by one at the graduation party. So that's the basic plot. Um, let's get into the things I liked about this film. Um, the acting's actually not too bad in this movie. Uh, the story was kind of cool. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen a good, like, sort of revenge slasher where somebody gets a prank pulled on them and, and they, they come back for revenge. I mean, they used to do that in the 80s, I think, quite a bit. But the only one I can think of offhand is The Burning, where they where they have that, they play a br the prank on the guy, um, the caretaker of the camp, and then his place ends up burning up and he d burns up in the building. It's like, who's coming up with these pranks where people actually die? Um, but anyway, I liked the story um, that, that, uh, that they came up with. And I enjoyed the, um, the main actresses. I thought all the actresses were pretty good. Um, you do get, um, it's not, uh, the pacing's pretty good. It's not boring at any time. I was never bored throughout the film. I felt like um, it didn't have like scenes that didn't need to be there. You get um, a lot of, you know, you get a, a, quite a few kills, so that's cool. Um, and so yeah, let's move on to the things I didn't like about this movie. Um, one th One of the characters I really couldn't stand, he was this guy that the the one girl who wants to call the police and nobody lets her is being set up on a blind date and he he like is following her everywhere and hovering over her and he was so annoying i actually wanted him to die and he doesn't <laughs> so you have to deal with that guy until she finally gets rid of him <laughs> but that guy i didn't like um the kills while they had a decent amount of kills in it um you don't get a lot of gore I wish that there would have been more blood and, and more gore in the film. Uh, the kills are, the kills are decent, you know, not bad, but it's usually like all the same weapon. Like it doesn't vary too much in, in how the people die. So I think they could have used a little bit more variety in the kills and definitely a little bit more gore. Overall, I thought this one was a lot of fun. Um, this is definitely, if you're a, sl a fan of slashers, I say definitely check this one out. Three and a half out of five for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. 
And um, if you guys have seen this movie, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, that's going to do it for this video series, guys, for back to school. The kids are mostly back in school. If they're not this week, they're going back the beginning of next week. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like these videos, give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Amy's Autopsy Report, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. I can never find the button. <laughs>